Buhari to handle the Nigerian youths with iron fist. Deal with those miscreants. Do not take it lightly. Bring in the army, the police, and deal with them properly. to my YouTube channel. Today we have a news update about the ANSAS protest. If you've not heard about this, there's a protest going on in Nigeria and the youths are standing up to challenge the politician, the Nigerian, the politicians, the Nigerian government and all. They want them to end SAS, they want them to end SWAT. They want them to reform the police and they want them to look into the government policies because it's not favoring the youths in the country. So the youths are not happy, they are out there protesting, but it is a peaceful protest. Please subscribe to this channel for more updates. So like and share this video. All right, so I'm here to tell you guys something that is really shocking. A Nigerian diplomat said the president, Mohamed Buhari, that's the Nigerian president, should handle this miscreant. That's what he called them. Miscreants with iron fist. And he went further to quote a quote from Vladimir Putin which is the Russian president. And let me quickly tell you guys something. The funny part of this whole story is that he is quoting what Vladimir Putin said. And at the same time, if you go to Russia and look at their system, look at, your, look at the way things are, things are in Russia, you cannot compare it to Nigeria. It's not the same. So whatever um, Vladimir Putin said, Probably that is what is best for his country because he's doing his best for his people. I do not know. I'm not from Russia. I do not know. I cannot speak for them. So I do not think a Nigerian diplomat should quote anything from any president, any minister, any uh, head of state in any part of the world because our system, our policies and everything is different. All right, that being said, he went further and he said, Femi Fani Kayode, that was, um, Femi Fani Kayode was the ex-minister of aviation in Nigeria. He was saying that Buhari should listen to the youth or Buhari should step down. And now this man is challenging him that why would he say a thing like that? Why would he say that a diplomatic president should step down? Well, you have to step down if you're not doing your job. These SARS, they've been killing innocent people. They just pull out their gun and shoot people for no reason. And he, the president has not been saying anything, even when they started the protest. He didn't even come out to give a statement to address the country. So, if someone will say he should step down, the person is not wrong in any way. But the fact that this man thinks that he is trying to make this uh, a religious thing or trying to make it, okay, we Northerners or we Southerners or we Westerners and all that, my friend, this is not going to work. This is not the time that we're trying to do South, South, West, East and whatever. Right now, we're all standing as one, as Nigerian youths, to fight against this bullshit. That's what I call it. That's going on in the country. And for a diplomat to say, can you do this during Obasanjo tenure? Well, if Obasanjo had tried this nonsense, the youths would still stand up and do what they want to do. And he's out here saying if the government will not be able to do it that they will fight it but the youths are saying no the youths are standing their ground the protest is peaceful and he's saying due process doesn't work sometimes that you need necessary process 
do what is right and the youths will stop protesting. It is a shame that this man will sit in his office and grant an interview that he wants the president to treat the youths as if they are armed robbers, as if they are killers. That's not right. This Nigerian diplomat ambassador Husseini Komasi, his name is even boring and he's saying they should be treated with iron fist. Well, the youths are standing their ground and if you want to support, you can tweet out answers, hashtag end police brutality. I thought I should bring this to you people. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about this nonsense statement from this man that has no brain. For now, I'm out. I will give you info as they come in. Subscribe, uh, like, uh, and Ensas share. Has succeeded, or the police have accepted, or the president has succumbed to them. So let's go. The next line of action is IGP. Uh, Fenika Ede is saying the president must go. A democratically elected president. You dare not try it. Can you try this nonsense during over on your time? I blame Buhari for taking things lightly. With this, there are certain things that should be I handled with iron fists. Uh, Vladimir Putin, he said, necessary, uh, 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 you should take necessary process to deal with irregular, uh, irregularities, not due process. There are certain times due process doesn't work, but necessary process. So in whichever way that will, your country will be in peace, handle it. If the police fails to do what it's supposed to do, bring the military. If it fails, we... The patriotic citizen will go against the miscreant, will face them.